Okay, so this is the third part of my uh, change password tutorial. We're going to crack on and we're going to actually change the password in the database at this time. And we've already connected to our database up here. Let me just show you. We've already connected here. So there's no need to reconnect um, since that command has always be, already been issued. And we're just going to create a new query called query change. And that is going to be equal to our MySQL query function. And now, this is a bit new bit of um, code. I'm just going to bring this down so you can see it a bit more easily. We're going to use the update. I'm going to say update users, which if you look here is our table here. So update our users table. I'm going to say set uh, password equal to new password, making sure you use inverted commas here. And then I'm going to say this is where my username is equal to the user um, variable that I've got on my page currently. Now this here uh, equates to um, what's in this column here. So since we've already selected our, um, we've already selected our, or we've already processed our PHP session, that is equal to Alex. So basically, what this um, what this bit of code here is doing is saying um, update the table change the um, password to the new password that the user has entered because we've passed all our checks so this is uh, the password they want and change this where the username's Alex so um, as this is equal to Alex so basically this password will be changed because this username here equals Alex so what we can do is at the moment we can see this starts with 900 as soon as we change it we can refresh this and check that it has actually been changed but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more things. Um, let's just uh, put this back up a bit. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, uh, let's say die, because we'll kill the page. We don't need to do anything else. And I'm going to say um, your password has been changed. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put a link in saying return. And that's going to be returned to the main page and that's index.php and what I'm going to do is just before we kill the page I'm going to destroy the session so session destroy and the reason being is because once the users change their password um, this link here will take them back to the main page and this will destroy their session so they're, they're going to need to log in again using their new password so if we give this a test uh, remember in here my current password which is ABC starts with 900 the MD5 hash starts with 900 and if I go back here and I type in my old password ABC 123 is my new password and I click change password our pass uh, all the um, validations checked our password has been changed and we get this um, link to return back to the main page which takes us back to here now if I try and sneak back onto the member page you can see that you must be logged in. Our session has been destroyed as we used our session destroy uh, function here. And, and also, um, we when, when I log back in again, let's say I log in as Alex, and I'm gonna try ABC as my password, which is my old password. And by logging in now, we can see that we get an incorrect password message. So in fact, if I try one, two, three, you're in. And evidence of this is shown in here. Uh, let's just, go back and, and click browse and we come down and you can see that my password has changed from the start being 900 to 202 therefore this is a completely new hash and a completely new password so that's all working everything's fine um, uh, you can see that it's quite um, simple in one way to do this and complicated in another way all you really need to do is learn your um, SQL uh, queries I'll probably be doing a tutorial on this soon if, if not it'll be up already and um, you just need to think logically about how you need to check your old password, check your two new passwords. Um, obviously when we did our registration we had a limit for how big the password could be. I'll leave that up to you to enter um, another check in here to check if the password say has to be bigger than six characters or um, no bigger than 25 characters long. So really there's a lot of checks you can do and there's a lot of work that can be done on this but this is the basic skeleton for changing a password in uh, PHP using a MySQL database. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. 
If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Uh, make sure you subscribe for video updates, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.